Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can add downloadable products from your store. For finding out the downloadable products, you have to log in your dashboard area, then go to the catalog. And in the catalog, there is the downloads. So click on here. So if you want to sell some of the digital product like PDF, GIF or documents type of product, then you have to choose this download option. So in this video, I will show you A to Z how you can manage your downloadable product from your store. For adding the new downloadable product, like click on the add new. And now here, first of all, the download name, the file name and the mask. And here, first of all, the downloadable product name. So now for education purpose, I am using the company documents. Okay, I'm just using the company documents and there is the file name. So for now, I just click on the upload and I just select our exercise file. In our exercise file for education purpose, I am just adding some of the PDF file on here. So you can see there is actually a PDF file. So for now, I'm just adding that thing. So I select this one and click on the open. And here is the message. Your file was successfully uploaded. For now, I just select, okay. And you can see there is actually all the total file name and that is the marks. Marks is means that the visibility of this documents file. So if you want to change the name as per your demand, so you can change it from here. For now, it's okay with me. So now here, we just create some of the name as a company document and now I just save it. So our downloadable products is now ready for education purpose. I am using this one on here. Now we have to add this downloadable products into the product section. So for now, I'm just click on the products. And in the product, I just want to add new one. I already discussed about that things, how you can add some of the product in your store. For now, I just add some of the product name as a download product. And for education purpose, I am just using this one. So that should be our product name and you can put some of the descriptions about related to your documents. Okay, so for now, I'm just add the meta tag title. I'm just adding some of the demo text on here. So for now, I just copy some of the demo text from here. Okay, and I just copy it and paste it with the control V. So for education purpose, I'm just adding that things and I hope you can well understand about it. There's a meta tag title. And now I just copy this one and in the data, there is a model. So for education purpose, I'm using the model as per it is. Okay, then you don't need to do anything on here. There is a price. So how much price you want to charge for these documents? I'm just price at the things as a 50. Okay, and this quantity is one, it's okay. So here I don't need to do anything onto this area. Now click on the link and now if there is a categories. So better if you create some of the another category specific for the downloadable product, then it should be better. For now, education purpose, I am using that add the things in a t-shirt category. So there is a t-shirt category. So I just select as a t-shirt category. I hope you can understand about it because there is actually the different type of product. There is the uh, digital product. So better you create some of the categories for the specific the downloadable products. So it should be better. But now I'm just using for education purpose using that category. Okay. I just added that category on here. Then you don't need to do anything on here. Then go to, I already discussed about the attribute, options, recurrent city, okay, discount, special, and the images. For education purpose, I'm just adding some of the images on here. And in the t-shirt, I just select this folder. And now I just want to upload, you know, exercise file. I already shared some of the JPG file on here. So click on the open and click on the okay. So for now, I'm just want to adding the things by our default picture. Okay, you don't need to do anything onto this area. So here, most important part in the link option area, you can see there is a filter. I already discussed about that things. There is a download. So in the downloads, we already create some of the downloadable product like I'm putting as a company. So that's the documents we just added. Okay, so here I just select this download as a company document. I hope you can well understand about it. So now it's actually added onto this area. So now that you have to save this product. So our downloadable product is now ready. So let's check this out. I just open our categories. For education purpose, I'm just adding that things on the t-shirt category. So open the t-shirt category. And in the t-shirt category, you can see there is a download product. But now I will show you how you can manage your total procedure like as a customer and also the owner. Okay, so how you can manage all the procedure. I will show you that things right now. Like I just opened this product. So now that is actually the digital product and you can see there is all the descriptions about related issues about the digital product. But now if your client click on the add to cart, and you can see the shopping cart is added and there is a shopping cart. Now go to the checkout page and in the checkout page, you can see there is a one page checkout. So that is also one of the module of this theme. So I will discuss that things later. Okay. When I discuss about 
and this option then i will show you how you can manage this checkout option from here so now you can see there is the actually the there is the registered account and there is a return customer so if you select as a return customer then you have to click on the email id and password then login so if you already have an account with this store then you can select the return customer rather than the registered account so for now i'm just adding the registered account there is a shipping method i will discuss that things later there is a payment how you can manage the payment how you can add the paypal onto this area i will show you if you have the coupon how you can use the coupon or voucher into this area i will show you that things later and you can see that is our digital product is display on here and that is the total price okay and so that's all about the things now you have to fill up like like here we are just added the new account on here so there is the personal details we have to fill up for now education purpose i am adding the kazi and last name is aryan and putting the email id as aryan69 at the red gmail.com okay and then putting some of the education purpose i am putting some of the mobile number onto this area and then password so that would be your login password for now i am just adding my password and the confirm password and here you have to put your address for now i'm just for now i'm just putting as a purana palton purana palton dhaka okay and i'm just select my country as a bangladesh and you automatically will be really allocated with all the division for now i'm select as a dhaka so that's all the required field i just fill up on here okay and here that everything is okay i'm just put some of the comments like like payment is done okay but now i'm just adding that some of the comments on here i have to agree with the private policy and the terms and condition now confirm order yes you can see this order has been placed so there is actually successfully order placed and you can see there is all that information on here and now you are already logged in there is a button for the logout and there is a my account and you can find out the my account click on the my account and in the my account you can do a lot of the things on here like there is a my account you can edit your account edit your password there is an address book if this is a wish list so if you want to put some of the things as a wish list like there is a button for the wish list so if you select as a wish list product then it should be visible onto this area okay so that is actually the wish list and there is all your order history the downloads and recurring payment okay so there are a lot of the function you can find out on here but now we are just purchase the downloadable products so click on the downloads it is the account downloads you have not made any previous downloadable orders so for now that is actually your order is not visible on here because i just make the things as a user view from now i just show you how you can manage that things as a owner view like this on the dashboard so when your customer add some of the order in your store like here i just purchase some of the downloadable products so that is actually for the user view okay for now i just manage that things as a admin so when your customer give any order to your store then you can find out that things on the dashboard and the latest order and in the latest order you can see there is the new order is added on here there is a 55 dollar and there is a kazi aryan okay and you can also find out that order details go to the sales option and in the sales there is the order so click on here and here you can see there is the new order is added on here so when i discuss about the sales option i will also describe that things how you can manage total order from your store but now i just want to show you how you can manage your downloadable products like if your customer put some of the order to your store like there is a button for the view so click on the view and in the view option you can see there is a cash on delivery there is a flat shipping there is a customer details all the customer details information customer email number and that's customer phone number and that is all the payment address that is the shipping address but we don't need this payment address or shipping address because that is actually the downloadable products so here i just want to show you how you can manage that things like there is a customer comment is payment is done so that means if you get amount from your customer and everything is when done then you there is a pending by default this order is pending now you have to make as a complete to make that sure you receive payment from your customer then you just select this one there is a order processing is complete and you can also override that things you can also notify your customer from check mark on here you can put some of the comments to your customer so i will discuss that things later for now i am just making that things as a pending to complete and add history and here you can see this you have modify your order so that was actually the pending and for now i just make that as a complete so when you receive this amount and make it complete then your customer can actually access this downloadable product for now if you refresh this page 
Yes, you can see there is the order ID is 15 and there is a company documents and so that is actually the PDF we just purchased your customer can now download this product like click on the download. So now you can see your order is now downloadable. So you can actually download this PDF file right now. So I hope you can well understand about it how you can manage your downloadable product and how your customer put this order to your store and how you can manage that things from the back end option area. I hope everything is very much clear to you. So that's all about the downloadable product. So that is the downloadable product. So in our next video, I will discuss about the review, how you can manage your review setting from your store. Like in your store, you can find out a lot of the product on here. So if any customer put any kinds of review, how you can manage all that review from your back end option area. In our next video, I will show you with the live example. So thank you for watching this video. Keep learning.